Hello everyone and welcome to Pyrovision, a series where I look back in clips and break down on how to deal with certain situations. Today I'll be breaking down clips to help you understand and improve on your very own Pyro plays. In this clip I'm playing on Barn Blitz with a small amount of players. As I turn this corner I get met by a scout. I quickly flinch my aim to the left and fire as my crosshairs hover over him. I was lucky enough to jump around the corner with the Scorcha as, due to my elevation, I'm able to not be too picky about my aim and hit in his general area to set him ablaze. Now, here's a quick tip. If you're using any flare gun in close quarters, always, 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 in between shots, switch to your flamethrower. The interval between flares is two fucking seconds, meaning that there's going to be two seconds where you're nothing but a sitting duck. Alright, returning to the play. I chased the scout up the stairs, but I missed my next player. The scout could have lived if he would have just run out and away, but he ran straight into the corner. I know his position, and I know he's going to be trapped, so I need to handle this situation smartly or else he could just slip away. I need to keep him trapped, so I use my air blast after I douse him in a few particles of flames. Next, I pull out my flare gun and shoot at the corner in which he's going to be wedged in. I pull my flamethrower back out and flame him down again. Cool, he's dead. Or, uh, at least I hope he's dead. Well, I move into this next room to peek out to the next area and hopefully harass someone with my flares. What I didn't notice is that I got a good old fashioned bukake lathered all over my back. Luckily, I did notice the pellets from a shotgun digging their way into my side, so I flick my aim again to confront my attacker. Notice my aim here. I first aim at the ground and then move towards him. I hug the wall to invite him to try to slip past me. It's not likely that he's going to take the chance to slip past it, but put yourself in his shoes. Think about what we look like to him. We've set him on fire so he's panicking, we're now a source of health because we're milk, and there's a big fucking gap to his left where an exit is. What would you do? I strafe to cover the hole in our defenses and make sure he doesn't run out the door. The flare hits the ground and he's dead. Well, again, hopefully he's dead, like, what burn ward could help with that? This next one is just a little demonstration to show you that there is usually a correct time to engage an enemy. I could have shot him here, but he has this doorway to hide behind. Also, it's over, Anakin. I have the high ground. there's a full supply station here, so I want to wait until he passes it so I could then get the supplies all to myself. I'm a greedy little cunt. Also, there are stairs here, and uh, just in a moment, I'll... Have the high ground. All right, let's see. 55 damage in shells, 59 damage in flames, and a final blow with a single shell. I took out all of his health without taking a single hit. But wait! Did you notice the health pack was gone before the pyro or myself was up there? If you see a random missing health pack or ammo kit, always spy check. You just might make a French man into a French fry. <laughs> you underestimate my power. All right, stop. Let's just break this down. I have a buff of 200 health and a scout on my side. They have a spy, a scout, and a fucking heavy. No matter what your skill level may be, this is clearly not a good situation. I flame, and by now I was expecting the heavy to be spun up. I see he isn't, so I move into flame, switch, and drop a shell into him. I put myself into quite a pickle here. I should have air blasted. No use in crying over spilt milk here. Uh, I equip my power jack, jump away, and try to get some damage off on him with another round. I retreat for some more health, but I soon return. I pre-flame this corner. I get a little caught off guard, and I pull the old 1-2 on him. Now I just juke like a motherfucker. I learned from my mistake earlier, and I air blasted him away. I miss my first shell, then I take a quick little breath and really focus. I land a damn good meat shot, and the heavy goes down. Thank you. 
So, thank you all for watching. I want to know what you like or don't like about the series. I know it's only the second episode, but do you think I break down some of the plays too much, too little, or am I all good? Fam. Yeah, I'm pretty hip with that lingo. If you have any suggestions, jot them down in the comments. I'm always open to new ideas. I love you all, and you can't fix stupid if it don't broke.